friends for less guys. If you want to confirm the items, go to your friends for less. Thanks for coming all the way from London to be with me. Um, okay, so I'm down to my last few songs. Marami marami salamat po ulit for coming. For this song, I honestly didn't want to sing this song anymore. But I realized it was it was really it wasn't really about a person, but more about the God who hears and answers prayers. I wrote this song one time, inspired by one of my favorite books. Have you guys ever seen Narnia? Yeah. Yes. And I'm the my magkakapatid, de ba? Tisagi silang nakikipagawa'y. No, I'm sorry. And um, they're always at war. And here comes the great lion, Aslan, who always seemed to disappear and then reappear just about when just when someone's about to die. And when I was reading the book and I was I was watching the movie, I got to the point where I got so tired of Aslan just having to disappear all the time. Like why do you have to disappear and have to show up at the nick of time when you can actually just stay? But then I realized, for Aslan to show up exactly when he needs to, that can only mean that he was always there. He was always watching. And there are things that we can't, we can't understand. We can't, we can't see what journey we're on now. But, but on this path that we're on, we can only see the road ahead of us, but we don't know how many wars God protected us from for us to be on this road right here. And that story was the story behind Compass. I don't Compass. I don't know Kasi dire-diretso na yung kanta ko kasi tas gusto mong kwento nung ko. Tas tas hindi ka mamasin. Anyway. <laughs> but my best friend earlier, Pat Pat, she, she sent me a story earlier. And she, it was about a, a dad who gave his daughter a really old car. And this car, she didn't know the value of this car. So she said, Dad, I'm going to buy this. So she knew the child in the first place. In the first place, she said, it's only 100 pesos. She said to the child, it's only 100 pesos. So she knew the child in the first place. In the first place, she said, it's only 500 pesos. She said, it's only 500 pesos. And then they went to to a car a car enthusiast club. They went to a car dealers enthusiast club, and in there they started bidding five hundred thousand, one million, one point five. And then the dad said to his daughter, sometimes. Sometimes we feel like we're not worth it, but really you're just in the wrong place. Sometimes you may feel like you don't belong somewhere, or the place you feel like it's a hopeless case, but maybe you're just in the wrong person. You're in the wrong season. Where it's just not your, it's not your season yet. And it made me realize that that 
that the way God weaves stories together, the way He gives us hope, is that even if we find ourselves in the wrong places, He still finds a way to save us. He still finds a way to lead us back to Him, back to where we're supposed to be. And so, and so tonight we're gonna sing this song. Because I believe that I believe that God doesn't make mistakes. And that if He can answer prayers, then He can give you immensely greater now. I love you guys. This song is my hope song. In my story this past year, there's one last person I need to honor. When I wrote the song in 2016, I didn't think I'd be in a situation so similar six years later. I was at war in my head with voices I didn't know how to shut up. But he always kept me safe. This year could have been the loneliest, most depressing year. But it was the most loved I'd ever felt. It could have been the most defeated year, but it was the most empowered I had ever been. And it's all because of a love I will never be able to deny.